a little bit different, you know, playing on Friday for sure, but uh, going to be a, a good thing to play on the Big Ten Network and uh, get, get aired nationally uh, against a great opponent. You know, you, you've got several, you know, uh, you know, people that are picking them to be in the national championship game. You know, so, you know, to get, uh, you know, the, uh, the perception out there of how good their program is, there you go. You know, there, there's several folks that are picking them with a great chance to, uh, you know, uh, to be in that game, and uh, it's a, it's an honor for our football team to get to play on that stage, and you know, travel up there and get to play. Uh, I think we're looking forward to it. We're excited about it, and just excited about starting the season. You know, you, you get to go see kind of where you are against a team that uh, people are predicting to be in that championship game. So that's uh, we'll see right where we are at the end of that game, and uh, you know, we're going to battle, uh, battle, and, and play every snap of that game, and, and it'll unfold how it unfolds. But you know, Michigan State has a great program. I think uh, Coach Antonio does a, a superb job. Their staff has done an outstanding job recruiting. You know, I think. I, you know, Michigan State has been good in years past, you know, but it's, it's been every five years or every ten years they'd have a team, you know. So you think Big Ten football, you think Michigan, you know, uh, Ohio State, uh, you know, that, that's the teams that come to mind. Well, well, they've dominated those schools the last few years. I mean, they, they've, uh, you know, they, they've been to school in Michigan. And I, I don't know with a, a four or five year run that Michigan State's ever had the consistency that they have right now. And, and yeah, that's a direct reflection of their coaching staff and, and their players of, of how they built their program. So they've got a solid, solid program. It's not like we're going in and, and playing a team that uh, the coaching staff's on the hot seat because they haven't been winning enough and, you know, uh, going to get fired at the end of the year if they don't win enough. I mean, th this this program is established. Uh, like I said, they've done a fantastic job. So. You know, we're, we're looking forward to going and seeing because you know, our goal is to win a national championship at our level. You know, we'll go see, you know, what the, what the uh, potential national championship at, at that level is, is all about in this game. So what a great thing for our football team. And I'm sure, you know, we're going to learn a lot about where we are, you know, uh, you know, just where we need to improve at, things that we're doing well. Uh, and, and that's what's going to be the fun thing about that game is getting to go see that. And, uh, you know, I... Uh, what the excitement of the game. Is like no other. You really don't get nervous out there because you're feeding off their fans. It's just so many people out there watching you. You're just ready to make that one play. So it, it, it's going to be pretty good. We're going to go up there. It's a big challenge. We're just um, been looking for this opportunity since spring. So if we just go out and do our part, the um, results will be good. So it's great. I love, I love playing in front of a bunch of people. Uh, I think it's what is it, 85, holes, something like that. So I, the, I think it's most people are playing in front of. So it's, the excitement's great. Uh, like Junior said, you just kind of feed off the energy in the stadium, even if it is not our fans. Our, our uh, fans that are there represent us, they're going to be rocking the bands. Our bands going to be rocking, they're going. It's just, I, I love playing in the big, the big stadiums, having everybody excited. It's just a great experience. Uh, I know for me, it's, 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 it's new, but it's, it's really exciting at the same time. But. Being on an offensive line, it's not really me, myself. It's I get to play against Max and guys that's, that's been there before. So I'm, I'm really confident going into the game. You know, you know Max leads us. He's, he comes up at the uh, line of scrimmage each play, and he knows what's going on. So I'm not really nervous or anything. You know, I got good guys beside me, tight ends, everything. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. We're just going to go in and play with confidence, not scared at all, and just like Junior said, just feed, feed off to their fans and play a good game. A little different lining up. Two years ago, with Otter High School, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That'll be Justin's first start. You know, he registered last year, dressed, you know, pretty much every game for us, and was able to register him. So this will be his first start, and what a great way to start a career off. You know. When you talk about his high school days. I mean, but two years ago, you're preparing for Gadsden City and the Hoovers That's and whatnot. Right. Talk about just the comparison and contrasting, you know, with that preparation with this preparation. That's right. And I think everybody, you know, it gets overlooked a little bit. It is my debut as a head coach. Uh, but I, I think getting my feet wet last year and playing, you know, in the playoffs and the games we play, we didn't get to play a game uh, like this last year. So it's going to be fun for me. You know, I mean, that has to be the biggest game I've ever run out in front of a crowd, too, along with Max. I mean, it just, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun for me. It'll be a lot of excitement. I mean, you just kind of feel it, you know, starting this week. And uh, like I said, it's, I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, what, what a blessing to be able to do that. And, uh, like I said, just really, really excited. And 
I've said this the whole time. We're taking the Southerners up there, as Max said. I think we're going to win the halftime show. You know, there's no doubt with that. You know, we're taking 400, and I think 30, you know, marching Southerners up there. So I, I think they're going to win the halftime show. And our goal is to, for our coaches to be dancing after the game, not theirs. <laughs> not that I'm a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, just talk a little about the three guys that we brought today and what they bring to the team. Well, you know, Junior has, you know, had a great career and, you know, they got another year to play, uh, you know, just uh, one of the best corners that, that I've ever lined up against in, in, uh, in practice every day. He just, uh, he's a hedgy football player. I mean, he just, his, he has an uncanny knack to, to be around the football, anticipate routes and, and some of those things. Uh, we're, we're glad to have him here. I think he's got great ability. You know, I think he could play corner in the, in the SEC or ACC and, and probably coming out of high school if he's two inches taller, probably probably would be playing there. And uh, he, he just does, uh, he, he's our lockdown guy. You know, I mean, he, he can get the job done. And he's a guy we stay away from in practice. We know our quarterbacks, you know, we got backside check sometimes. If you get one on one, they, they don't all the time check their juniors there. So uh, he's, he's doing good. We look for him to have a fantastic year. I think he's ready. He had showed you his cast. He's ready, he's ready to get this little cast off his left hand. So his ball skills will come back. But he has ball skills kind of like a receiver and, you know, just does a good job for us. And, uh, so uh, I think he's set up to have a good year. You know, Max is returning, to, you know, All-American from last year, preseason All-American this year. He's had a great career here, you know, and uh, he, he gets it done up front. And you know, like Justin said a while ago, you know, our guards are tied and might not know what's going on. He, he, he helps everybody out up front. He's kind of like a quarterback of our, of our offensive line in the middle and gets everything done, gets us in the right call, right situation up front, and, and just manages the game well from that position. Uh, I, I think the reason why he wanted to be a center is because he could touch the ball every time. He, he really has a mentality of a skill guy. You know, I mean, he just, I think that's why when you move from tight end in high school to center or whatever, it's because he could touch the ball. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Might be. He, he all forgot, I think he wanted to play quarterback or something. But, uh, <laughs> but he gets to touch the ball, and, and, and really it's different being under center. You know, it's savvy. He gets a, he gets a, you know, snap it out of the gun. So, but he does a good job up there. Very smart player as well. Uh, you know, and both of these guys, it's, you know, all three of these guys, they do a great job in the classroom for us. There, if you put out a model and a blueprint of, you know, definition of what we want a game cock football player to be, these are, these are three of the guys you look at. They're superb students. Uh, they do their job there and, and represent, you know, our football pro on and off the field with a lot of character and a lot of class everywhere they go. So. Uh, we're looking for good things from Max this year, and I think he's as healthy as he's, he's ever been. He feels real good right now, and uh, I think he's going to have a, a, a great year for us. And then Justin talked a little bit about, about him a while ago. You know, just uh, first start, uh, I, don't, I don't think he's too nervous. You know, he, he'll be a little nervous by the time we run out there, don't you think, Junior? I think just run out in front of that many folks. And, but what a proud moment for him, you know, to, to get to start as a, as a redshirt freshman. They want a dang good offensive line. I think our offensive line is much deeper and much better than what it was at any point last year. And for him to come from where he was last year to be a starter, you know, up front in a tackle position, it's going to be a fun day for him. But you know, I make a joke all the time to tell you kind of what type of students these guys are. I did room check last year. I mean, Coach Smith would we go around to the rooms. And uh, you'd come by his room. He'd room with Casey Dunn every, every week. And uh, you'd come by. And, uh, you know, Justin would be over there on the computer doing his homework, you know, and that's the reason he's got that high GPA and doing what he's supposed to do. But he's, uh, you know, all three of these guys, like I said, grounded students, and, and like I said, just, I've never seen them on a list as far as you missing a tutor appointment or, you know, having, having missed classes or anything like that. And I'm as proud of that as I am the top players they are. So that, that means a lot to us and our coaching staff and, you know, and, uh, and just a game got family. Ask you to. This is your third year, and it's the third defensive coordinator that we've had. To. And I know you've had a, a good fall. And just kind of talk about the defense from your point of view and what you thought of ball camp and, and, the, and the transition. Um, we just had to get used to the change scheme wise. I think we're, we're going in looking to um, do big things on the defense. We got big bodies up front, so that makes it better for our secondary. We're just um, just coming out trying to just trying to make statements or whatever, and as the coaches we have, they just come in, make us feel good about the situations they put us in, and we're just looking to have a great season. Any other questions?
professionals for breaking into some one on ones? Anyone? <coughs> okay, guys, thanks. Coach, we'll let you stay there. Okay, stay.